I'm Brad Hamblin with Preferred Rate. Today we're talking about the 11th step in the home buying process. This is the last step in the process. This is the actual closing. So depending on where you are in the United States, depends on how the actual process takes place. There's two types of closing. There's an escrow type closing where the buyers and sellers sign separately and no one's in the same room at the same time. And then there's a table funding, that which is when everyone comes to the same place at the same time, everyone signs the documents and everyone walks away with a check or brings a check and walks away with a house. So in the area that I live, we do table funding, which means that the sellers and the buyers and both their agents come to the table. And then there's a title company that sits at the head of the table and they help execute all the documents and notarize your signature. So when you come to closing, there's about 120 pages, a stack of paperwork about this thick that you're gonna sign at closing. Don't be alarmed, a lot of the stuff you've seen before and you've already gone over it in the initial closing disclosure. Now you're gonna sign the four important documents and we're gonna go over those four important documents that are in this package and then we're gonna to touch on what else is in that package. So the first important document that you're gonna sign is gonna be the closing disclosure. This summarizes of the, all the terms of the loan again. This is the same as the initial closing disclosure, except it has the finalized numbers. It has the exact amount of cash that you needed at closing, your exact mortgage payment, when the first payment date is, it summarizes the cost associated with closing the loan, and it also goes over the amount you pay over time. Again, 30 year note, you're gonna pay back about two and a half times the amount you borrow. The enemy in this equation is time. That's a different, whole different video. Um, after you sign the initial closing disclosure, the next important document in that package is the note. The note is significant because this is what actually signifies that you're promising to pay back the loan at the terms of the loan. So on the first page of that, it's going to tell you how much you're borrowing, what the interest rate is. It's also going to tell you when the first payment's due and when the last payment is due. When you sign and date it, you're agreeing to pay back the loan at those terms. The next important document in the loan package is going to be the mortgage. Now, the mortgage is a 17 page long document that was written by the legal department and most every mortgage is the same. What the functionality of the mortgage is, is it pledges the property as the collateral for the loan. And then it also states what you can and cannot do for the, with the property. So in there, it says you can't drill for, oil, drill for oil, you can't dig for gold, you can't start a junkyard on the property, you can't store hazardous waste there. Um, you're agreeing to maintain the property and you're agreeing not to destroy it because it's the collateral for the loan. So when you sign that, you're pledging the property is the collateral for the loan and you're agreeing not to mess up the property and destroy it. Um, the last document that you're gonna sign is gonna be, that's important, is gonna be the deed. The deed is what transfers ownership from the current owner to you as a buyer. And that has the address of the property listed. It'll have the property identification number, also known as the PIDN. And then it'll also have the legal description, which will be like this weird way of how they actually used to describe properties before they started making lots and lot numbers and addresses and some of the stuff is really awkward how it's written up, but it's legal description. So that signifies what you're buying. So of that, the deed and the mortgage both get recorded at the courthouse. And now it says you own a property and you pledged as a collateral for a loan. So in order for you to sell that property in the future, you have to pay off that loan or that mortgage that was uh, pledging the property as the collateral. In between all those important documents, there's gonna be documents that were mixed in there that you've seen before, like a loan application, probably all the disclosures that you've signed in like triplicate. Um, and then there's also gonna be things that are new that weren't relevant up until that point. Like you'll sign a final payment coupon, which is just like the payment coupon you'd use to pay the monthly payment for the first payment. You'll sign an amortization schedule that breaks down every single payment, one to 360. And um, you'll sign other documents if you have escrow, you'll sign other additional documents if you have like an adjustable rate, you'll sign additional documents if you have like um, any sort of special features that go along with it, whether it was a condo or a special type of property. So once you're done signing all the documents in our area where you do a table funding, uh, the keys are released if it was occupancy at closing and they collect your check and then they distribute the checks to the sellers.
So that's the closing. That's the fun part. Now you get the keys to your home. Let me know if you have any questions. Feel free to reach out via email, call, text, whatever works for you. Have a great day.